And, and once again, a very warm welcome to Ravens Creek for the Saturday's Shap National Performance League Cup Final between Hearts and Aberdeen. Let's check out the teams one more time for you. Starting off with Aberdeen, number one, Kirsten Pratt. Number two, Emma Rogers. Number three, Bailey Collins. Number five, Jessica Broderick. Number six, Mary Whittingham. Number seven, Nadia Sopel. Number 10, Ailey McHattie. Number 16, Hannah Innes. Number 17, Eleanor Cooper. Number 19, Ellie Shand. And number 21, Leah Jones. On the bench for the Dons, number 9, Ellen Reed. Number 15, Rachel Hewitt. Number 20, Georgia Park. And number 24, Emily Dalgetty. Lining up for Hearts today, number 13, India Marois. Number 2, Brody Clark. Number 3, Ailey Begg. Number 4, Jamie Lee Bain. Number 8, Kasia Stevens. Number 11, Emma McFadgen. Number 12, Amy Denham. Number 15, Eve Mooney. Number 19, Lucy Horn. Number 21, Macy Hathaway. And number 22, Ruth Gorman. Your subs for Hearts today, number 1, Hannah Marriott. Number 5, Sophie Morelio. Number 6, Emma Yorkston. Number 9, Megan Hood. And number 14, Megan Gallica. Your match referee today is Lauren Whitehead, assisting by Donna Shane and Connor Greenan. Your fourth official here at Raven Street this afternoon is Donnie McKinnon. It's going to be hard to get the score here. Off the underway then for the under-19s. Master Cup final for 2019. Launched up men. Alvin pushed that away well. McCarthy wide. Shand trying to work around Denham. Another corner. Aberdeen look a threat out wide here. Got two fast players. They're confident in 1v1s who will look to get forward. It's just about trying to find the support in the box for them there. Almost five minutes on the clock then. Another Aberdeen corner. Swung into that dangerous area. Oh. And, and it's in. Goes. And Ailey McHattie tapped in. Keep her trying to get her hands on it. With five minutes on the clock, what a start. That's the start that Aberdeen would have hoped for there. Got an early goal. There was a maybe a wee bit of miscommunication there between the goalkeeper and the defender there. But she's tried her best and unfortunately it's found its way into the back of the net. Hearts are a club that we've talked about rising through the game at senior level. Kevin Murphy, former Rangers head coach, first team head coach, and in charge of the women's girls programme and perhaps seen here. And we're and we're just just it done. Oh, oh, it's just done it clear. And McFadden was alert and alive. And a little bit of a slider relief for uh, Kristen Pratt. And it's, oh, and it's a good header there, which has uh, found its way to the hands of the goalkeeper. It was whitting him up. You get a powering head. I think Hearts will be looking to try and limit the amount of set pieces they concede today. Because, as you can see already, Aberdeen look quite dangerous from their set pieces. Whittingham's missed that one for initially. Now, ball through here. And it's McFadden. But well recovered back. And Fadgen might still managed to get there and she's found support and it's not going to come down and it's over the bar despite some cheers from half of his strike it's well recovered from Jess there she made a good tackle Kirsten's come out they've still managed to keep it alive there and Maisie's unlucky with the finish in the end no oh, it's Dancing through here, great feet there, Sopo, round, is she not fly, that's a wonderful bit of goalkeeping from India Marwa, that was uh, superb because it's got round, that could have been a tap in number two. So halfway then from the other side. It's a good header, just over. And you know, a couple of chances have came in for her in the last five, six minutes or so. And now they've got three kick here and a, and a spot of danger to defend for Hearts. Point reach Shand and that one just well away from goal. Yeah, I think after that first goal they conceded, I think they've now uh, tightened up a little bit at the back here. 
Good attacking chance here for Hearts. Conversation looks like half the way to take. She's putting a few good deliveries already this game, so I think she'll look to do another one here. Seven minutes into the second half, it's going, it's looping, and it's not quite looped it. Right into the top of the net, it's just over the net. Good move there by Hathaway back to the keeper. That's caused problems though. And now Put them on the under, under pressure. Did yeah, Stevens did well just to get it back and do it better the second attempt. However, having put the pressure on here once more, little shove in the back. And arm out from referee, referee Lauren Whitehead. And Collins, that nimble threat, just shoved over. A good range here for a shot on target. Yeah, free kick from a dangerous area here. Looks like Hannah Innes is going to take it. I think she'll be confident that she can put a, a good shot in here. Hannah Innes then. It's just going to go on, is it? Is it over the line? No. Well, goodness me. Big talking about it. Still in the head, but not over the line for a player that scored from about 35 yards last week in the league game between these two. The keeper's done really well to get the to catch the ball in there. India Marla, the goalkeeper on loan from Celtic. Has just went back into this game aside. And now she'll have to maybe perhaps do some goalkeeping again. And uh, have to take hold of that. Yeah, good chance for Hearts here to get this important goal they need. It's in a good spot, the keeper's in. got hands, perhaps crucial hands off the line. It's going to come back from Horn, Hathaway's offside though. Yeah, it's an important touch there from uh, Kirsten Pratt. It's under a lot of pressure in there. Time is very much in the overtime stage now, we've played the minimum time. Hearts with the throw in. There's Reid to try and get it away. It's over. And the trophy is going north in 2019. That's Aberdeen. So the final score on Saturday in the Hearts. Nil, Aberdeen won. Congratulations, Aberdeen. Winners of the Shaft National Performance League Cup for 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go away. The trophy presentation will commence in just a few minutes' time. Pick out a couple of players you think were star players for, for Hearts today. I thought Maisie Hathaway done really well. I think every delivery she put on the box was was really good. Uh, Hearts unfortunate not to get anyone on the end of them, but I thought she done really well. Um, I thought Eve Mooney when she was on, I thought she played well. Um, she gave something that, uh, for Aberdeen to worry about. Um, I thought Lucy Horn as well defensively defended well as well. So I think they'll, they'll be disappointed, but they can be proud of, of the performance. And they gave 100%, and they were just unlucky not to, to find a goal. Who do you pick as your player of the match? I thought Nadia Sopo was really good. I thought uh, she was a, a real threat for Aberdeen. Um, she showed her pace, she showed her skill. I um, also think uh, Emma Rogers was good in defence, solid, she looked to get forward. Um, but yeah, I think I think Nadia Zopo done really well today. And the trophy presented to Captain Eleanor Cooper. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see what happens again for the winners. Aberdeen!